All right, so today I want to share with you how you can get the most out of any program that you go through. This is something that I really love talking about because I think so many entrepreneurs are guilty of this. I definitely am. Purchasing courses and either not completing them or never even opening them or just feeling like you took a course that had one specific outcome and you never actually got to that outcome. And that's something that I try to make sure never happens inside my course, which is MPQ, um, because I've been there and because so many of my students are procrastinators. And I think that's a big part of why so many of us don't finish courses. So here's my two-step plan. It doesn't have to, it doesn't just work for my courses. This I use this for any course I take program workshop, whatever. Here's how you can get the most out of a program, no matter what. And, and not just like finish the program, how you can actually be like the star student and be the person who's like, you know, the, the one that they want the testimonial from and all that stuff. First thing is about accountability. So first and foremost, you have to hold yourself accountable to actually doing it. If there's no built-in accountability into the program, like weekly group coaching calls or something like that, then you kind of have to create that for yourself. So the first thing that I like to do is as soon as I get a course, I crack it open and I create time in my calendar each week for that specific program. So whether it's in my like work hours or if I'm planning to do it like over the weekend, depends on the course, like when I decide that I want to do it, whether I'm doing it myself or with a team member or whatever it is, put that time in my calendar and like do not overbook it. This is now my commitment to that course. Then I like to create a checklist of everything that's going to need to happen week by week in the program or maybe phase by phase if it's like that type of a program um, and how long I think each thing is going to take me. So in MPQ, we actually do this for the students. We say like, hey, watch this video. It's this long. Take action on this. It will probably take you, you know, this many hours. Um, if that's not included in the course, just kind of like try to ballpark what you think it's going to be, add some buffer time and make sure that if you want to get this outcome by, you know, eight weeks from now when you're done the course that you you've given yourself enough time each week in that little slot for um, the course to actually accomplish everything that needs to happen in phase one or week one or whatever it is. So the first step is really about creating that accountability and creating that plan for yourself that you can stick to. Because otherwise you're like, yeah, I'll get to it, right? And it's just like, does that ever really happen? No. Um, so put that in your calendar. That's the first and most important part. But the second part is really about results and how you become that like star student. Like I said, the one that you want to get, that the, the um, teacher, the course creator wants to get a testimonial from because you're getting the results. This is the most important part. And I think it, you can make it work, even if it's a program that you get in and you're like, this is not really what I expected. And, you know, I've been in programs before, even like worked with a coach where I'm like, oh, like we're just not really vibing together. And I've already paid for this course. And so I'm not going down without a fight. I'm going to get the most out of this program. So the first thing that I do is before every call, and if there's no calls, you know, put a time on my calendar each week where I'm going to maybe go into the Facebook group to ask questions or however you can get your questions answered. Some courses maybe don't have this, but if they do, this is what you want to do. So before the call or before the time when you can ask questions, block off at least half an hour, maybe an hour where you're going to look at, okay, a little piece of paper that you've made for yourself and you want to say, all right, where am I at right now? And what are my three biggest questions? And just start writing out, you could be more than three, but just like, what's kind of holding me back right now? What are my biggest questions? Then when you look at those questions, ask yourself, what is the um, teacher, course creator, whatever, what's their strength or what's their strong suit? And how can I leverage that right now? So you always want to think about like, okay, my natural strong suit is this. Their natural strong suit is this. So I'm not going to ask questions about stuff that I can probably figure out or like I can you know, do myself, I'm going to really think like, where are the gaps in what I'm good at that they actually have a strength in? And you want to now prioritize your questions in order of what's their strong suit. So um, let's say you had like four questions. Okay, okay, put them in order of number one. If I only get this question answered, it's going to make the most out of um, my time. So if it's a group call, you're not like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, just like taking up the everybody's time and asking your 25 questions, you want to kind of 
you know, pace them out. If you get through it really quick, awesome. You can move on to question two or question three. If not, you're like, okay, number one is really the thing that I know she can help with, or he can help with, they can help with whoever can help me. And I think that's going to be the thing that pushes me forward for another week. This exercise (laughs) changes everything because what I was doing before is I was like, okay, I'll just show up to the call. And generally you kind of like get a question that pops up as you hear other people asking their questions or as you're looking at stuff. But if you take the time to like take half hour, really reflect on like, what are you stuck on right now? What's, you know, or it doesn't even have to be what you're stuck on. It could be like, I don't understand how this is going to work yet. And maybe I'm right here right now. And I just need to understand how I'm going to get from here to there, whatever it is, take the time to really um, think about where you need support, but also what that um, person's strong suit is. And I can guarantee you will be getting the most out of the program. And if you execute on that in those time, you know, blocks that you've made for yourself, you're going to become the star student um, and you're going to be getting the results that this program promised as long as it's, a, 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 you know, as long as the program actually works, but that's a topic maybe for another day. Um, all right. I hope that this is helpful for you. I know it's like kind of a simple um, framework, but I really do believe that these three things can help you um, complete courses because I used to be a serial course buyer and it would just like sit in my inbox. Um, and now that I do these three things, I can get through courses pretty quickly, the ones that I want to take. Um, and then also I almost always get the desired result out of that course. Um, so I really recommend it. Let me know what you do. If you are like, are you a course buyer? Are you a course completer? Um, and what are some of your tips and tricks for actually, um, following through on an entire course? And otherwise I'll see you next week.